All right, so in this video, I'm just gonna walk you through a print and cut using a simple image that you find off the internet to do a quick trace on. And I'm gonna go ahead and click Upload Image. And I'm gonna go ahead and click this button right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and browse for my downloaded image. And this is the one that I picked. I picked it because it is simple. It's only got two colors in there, white and black. And like I said, it is simple. So I'm going to choose simple image, you know, because it does have a high contrast, black and white. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And when I do, I'm going to zoom out here. A lot of times your images may be a little too large and you'll want to zoom out. With the select erase, uh, selected anyway, select and erase, you cl click on the white parts. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And it's going to turn it to that checkerboard color. And, you're, and that's how you're going to know whether or not it is uh, visible or not as far as where the cuts are going to be. All right. And I think that's all, but we will check with a preview and see what the preview looks like. And if it looks good, that's what we're going to do. All right, so it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Now this next part, I do want to save this as a print, then cut image. And I'm going to go ahead and keep that check marked, okay? And we can name this symbol, and I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now, once it is available to us, we need to place it on our screen. So to do that, we select it. It's got the green check mark down here. It is available down here as well. And I'm going to go ahead and click Insert Image. Now it is on our mat, and now we have some options to choose from Was how big can we make this for a print and cut, okay? And we're going to show you some values on the screen because it does determine what browser you are using as far as how big you can make this because uh, once we uh, click go, and we know that this is a print then cut or this is a printable because we have the icon for print, so if we click go, we're going to get an error message saying that this printable image is too large. So make sure you take a look at those, uh, you know, length and width guides that we're showing you on the screen right now on how big you can make this. So I'm just going to size it up like this, and I'm going to go ahead and click go. Now notice what this thing looks like right now on our screen. And this is what trips a lot of people up is this little thing called bleed. And you're, you're going to look at your image and you're going like, to be like, this does not look anything like what I had on the previous screen. Well, under here with the more matte settings, you'll see the bleed for print and cut. And if you just uncheck it, you'll see what you would expect. All right, so what does bleed do for you? Basically, it takes a sample from the outer edge of the cut of whatever color it may be, and it places it on the outer edge. And this will assist you in not having white space when you go and cut this. Because sometimes, uh, maybe your machine's not calibrated enough, but having a bleed on there will fix the white space error. So let's go ahead and the first thing that we need to do is I'm going to go ahead and click go here because we need to print this. And I'm going to leave the bleed on, okay? All right, so I'm going to click this button right here that says print page and then we'll come back to you, okay? All right, so we're going to do exactly what the online instructions say. We, we set our dial already to cardstock. As you can see, we push the load button, and now we're just waiting for the go light to blink, and then we click that little Cricut Bug's head on the machine. Now what it's going to do first, it is going to try to find that first registration mark in that top left corner. And its flashlight is turned on so that it can tell the difference between the white background and the dark printing. Now it's going to go back and forth, back and forth until it finds the intersection. And then once it does, it's going to move to that second registration mark to where it thinks it is. It found it. Now it's going to go to the third one. And once it verifies that it's there, now it knows how the paper is orientated and it will cut 
all the lines that you have placed on there or all your shapes and objects and we're going to take a look here at what it did and so now you can visualize what the bleed did to this object and you can see that there's going to be no white space when the bleed is on so here's the the cut and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on here for you and you can take a look at it 